Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be decluttering my closet and I thought I should do that with you guys. So hopefully if you guys have been putting this off as well, I give you some motivation to clean up your spaces as well. My closet clean out is definitely overdue. I've got a lot of clutter in there. So I'm going to try and do it the Conmary way and take everything out of the closet but in sections because otherwise it'll just overwhelm me and i'm probably just gonna give up anyway so i'm gonna take everything out and then only put back things that spark joy in my life so wish me luck guys i've got yoga in about three hours so i've got just under three hours to try and get as much done as possible and that is why i look very casual today so i've just got my yoga attire so then at least i'm ready to head out so i can maximize the time that i've got right now so yeah, I'm going to show you the situation of my wardrobe now and then yeah, go in sections. So that is the current situation in my closet. It's a bit of a mess. It's not horrible, but I'm getting a little bit short of space. If you watched my closet tour from earlier last year, you'll know the layout of my wardrobe quite well. But just quickly to show you, it is a small walk-in wardrobe. It's a wide one, but not very deep. It's pretty much in three sections. So the left-hand side section, as you can see, comprises of two hanging sections. So shorter hanging sections. So I normally hang my tops up there and blouses and down the bottom some shorter jackets, skirts and pants. And the middle section is where I normally display all my designer handbags and shoes and there are some drawers down the bottom. And then the right hand side section has a longer hanging section for longer coats, dresses and whatnot. And I've got some shelves up the top for boxes. So not too bad at the moment, but I need some space. And before we get started with the decluttering, I just wanted to quickly mention something. As you guys know, I just recently picked up my first Hermes Kelly bag in this beautiful Magnolia color, which works really well as a pop-up color bag in my collection. But I've just realized that I haven't really been reaching for this Chanel rectangular mini bag, especially since I've picked up the Magnolia Kelly, because for most part, the outfits that I used to match with this um, rectangular mini, now I can match with the Magnolia Kelly. So I really thought about it because I absolutely still love this rectangular mini. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, although I wasn't really reaching for it, but I finally decided to let it go. And because it is a higher priced item, I was so set on sending it off for consignment with one of the Australian consignment stores. But then I remembered a lot of you guys absolutely love this bag and you couldn't find it anywhere. So I thought I might just, you know, mention it to you guys first. And if none of you are interested, and I'm definitely still going to send it off for consignment, but you probably know this bag really well. It is up for sale. If you guys are interested, just email me. I've just done a huge vlog sale, so I'm not going to really make this an official sale or anything, but I thought I'd just give you the chance to quickly just show you the condition of the bag. It is in immaculate condition. It is from 2018. It's in the lambskin leather with the light gold hardware, which is so versatile um, the sides are clean I mean there's literally no wear and tear at all on the bag that is the bottom and you can see the corners there and then the other corners there as well yeah and then let me just quickly show you the inside so in a very very new condition and it'll come with everything that it originally came with so I am going to be selling it for slightly under retail and I will prefer an Australian buyer just because of the price tag of it it just gives me anxiety sending an expensive item overseas but we can work something out but if any of you Aussies out there want to purchase this bag just email me and I'm also letting go of this Valentino Rockstar Kitten Heels as well because I actually bought this color specifically to make with my Chanel rectangular mini flap. They are pretty much the perfect color. So I actually got these on a bit of a discount from David Jones here as well. Again, comes with everything. That is the condition. I've only worn it a couple of times. And as you can see, the bottom, it's worn a couple of times, but very clean. This will happen pretty much after the first wear. No scuffing or anything that I can see anywhere. The heels are clean. Yeah. And they are in the size 
37 and a half and I'm normally a US size 7 and so if you are a 7 then this will fit quite well but yeah pretty much I'm gonna let these ones go as well because I won't really be wearing these without the Chanel mini flap so if any of you guys are interested in these as well just email me I also got this on a bit of a discount from David Jones so I'm gonna pass on the discount and the price is going to be quite good for a pair of shoes in really good condition so with all of that out of the way, let's get started with the very first section. So this will be the first section that we're going to be tackling. What a mess. Can you see all of that? What the heck is that? Anyway, let me pull everything out and we can just decide which ones we're going to pull back. So as you can see, the top shelf is empty now and all of the clothes are on my stool here. So I'm going to source through all of them and only put back, hopefully half of them that I still really, really enjoy wearing. And then I've just got some shopping bags here. I'm just gonna leave them there for the time being because I can't think of anywhere else and I'm hoping that that space won't really matter once I declutter, so they're still gonna live there. So let's sort through this pile here. I'm gonna decide which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones I'm not gonna keep and then hang them and fold them up. So let's go through all of these items. First up is my age tea. I absolutely love this tea, so this is definitely gonna stay. So everything that's staying, I'm gonna put back here and everything that I'm not keeping, I'm just gonna put them on the floor. And then what have we got here? A glass and top. I absolutely love this t-shirt, but after a few washes, Glassons is a bit of a fast fashion company. Some pieces hold up really, really well and others don't really hold up well after a few wears and few washes. So yeah, I just don't think this looks that great anymore. So off it goes on the floor. A cotton on tee, absolutely love it because it is very flattering, a perfect type of crop tee. So keep. This is a denim skirt from Glassons again. I got my wear out of this one. Let's toss this one. Probably not gonna wear it anymore. A uh, stripey tee, I've got something really similar from CNM that I absolutely adore more than this, but it does the same thing as this one, so I won't keep this one. Oh, this is a H&M dress. I absolutely love this t-shirt dress. It is so cute. So this one's a keep. Oh, J brand jeans. These are low rise. I bought them years ago, but they're the most comfortable pair that I own, so keep. And then this is another pair of jeans. These are my beloved Jamie jeans from Topshop. Jamie jeans are my favorite. So these are definitely a keep. Another Glassons top that I don't think I'll wear anymore. Just a bit too crop. Um, absolutely love these pants from Glassons, so keep. Another skirt I'm gonna keep. This I haven't worn at all, but it I think it's a very nice festive skirt, so I'm gonna keep it. See, I'm not very good at decluttering. I'm keeping a lot of things. Oh, I forgot I had this t-shirt and I really, really like it. Yeah, nobody denim t-shirt, I'm gonna keep. <sighs> the neighbors are building a new house and there's a lot of noise. I'm so sorry about that, but I need to just keep going because I can't just stop now. A forever new t-shirt, um, toss. I think I'm just gonna put it on time lapse from here because I just feel like this is gonna take forever. So I'll show you the finished section. I recall the past again tonight. So this is this section done. It doesn't probably look all that different, but it is different. As you can see, everything is hanging. I had a lot of mess down on the sort of shelf there, but everything I hung up and divided them into sections. So I've got work tops, then camis, t-shirts, long sleeves, silky tops. And then I'm just going to come over here and show you this little trick. So as you can see, all of my clothes are mostly hang sort of this way in. So you can see the hanger. And then at the end, I've got a few maybes. And what I do is that with those pieces that I'm not sure whether I'm going to let go or keep, I usually hang it the other way around. So it's sort of that way. 
instead of right way in. So these I'm going to sit on for another few months and then the next time I declutter, if I haven't worn them, I'm going to let them go. So that is the top section done and I've just got my Louis Vuitton scarves down here. I'm just going to put them in one of the drawers later but for now they can just stay there. And then over here, this is everything that I'm going to let go so i did pretty well and then i have just two pieces maybe so yeah did pretty well i think and then the next i'm gonna declutter this bottom section which i'm a little bit scared about because i've got a lot going on here and in there as well so yeah let's get going with that section so now the whole bottom shelf is empty we're losing sun now so i'm gonna try and do as much as possible and then this is just the cheap shelving unit that is hanging but it's really handy so i'm gonna leave it there and everything that came out of that bottom shelf is here so let's tackle this pile As we fall. Now the left hand side section is complete. Again, doesn't look too different, but I got rid of a whole heap of things. So now all I've got, I need to buy some more hangers for the pants and the skirts, but I've got the skirts and the pants at the front here. And then I've got some of my jackets. So I've got denim, then a blazer, suede, leather, and some thicker jackets for winter. And then in here, in the little random shelving unit here, I've just got some winter tops that I don't need right now and some skirts that I don't need to wear right now and the thicker winter jeans that I don't need right now because we're in summer. So that section there is also very clean at the moment. So very happy with the progress there. With the time, I've got one more hour left. So this whole section took two hours and then down the bottom here is adding to the pile of the unwanted. So as you can see, getting rid of some jeans and some of the out of sort of fashion tops and yeah, all that sort of thing. And now let me try and complete this middle section before I have to go to yoga. Right, so there wasn't too much to the middle section here because I've already done a massive vlog sale and moved some of my least used bags out of my collection and I'm pretty content with the shoe collection. So just a quick overview. Um, I've still got some space on the top shelf there. The second shelf here, they're all my Chanel bags. I just like to store all my bags in the dust bags but out of their boxes so the leather can breathe. And then the next section here, I've just got a few other bags. This is my Louis Vuitton Alma. This is Givenchy Antigona. This is the Loewe puzzle bag. This is my YSL mini camera bag. This is the Nice BB. That's my toiletry pouch. And oh, this one, I've had it on my vlog sale recently. It hasn't sold yet. I had a few interests. Um, so I've put down the price a little bit. So I'll leave all the details in the description section below. And this one is for Australian buyers only because of the exotic leather there. If you want more details of it, then go back to my vlog sale video. But yeah, I'm putting the price as about $500 less than retail and it is brand new. I've worn this once and there's literally no wear and tear at all. So if this piece doesn't sell, then I'm okay with it. I'm just going to keep it in my collection because I still really love it. I just don't think I'll really use it. And then the next section here is my little Hermes section. So this is my Birkin bag. Although I don't like storing my bags in their boxes and that is the reason why I've got this box open. The reason I've got my Hermes bags in their boxes is because it is best to store them. I'll quickly just take this out and show you. Here we are. So according to the sales associate, apparently it is the best to store them sort of lying flat like this. So the handles are up here and um, the boxes all have the little paper pillow there. So apparently it is the best to store the bag lying like that on its pillow. So that is why I'm storing the bag like that. And in the other box, that's where my Kelly is sleeping as well, lying flat. 
So yeah, that is the reason why I store my Hermes bags like this. I do like to store my bags properly so they can remain in the most pristine condition possible. So put this bag and that's just the box for one of my shoes. And I've got my YSL Uptown pouches here. So one of my favorite sort of evening clutches. So the YSL pouches, I've got two of them. And then on the bottom here, I've just got some SLGs. So wallets, other toiletry pouches. At the back there, I've got the baby wipes that I wipe my you know, shoes and that with to clean them. So they're pretty much just alcohol-free and fragrance-free, very mild baby wipes. And um, yeah, just some Dettol wipes for my furniture and all of that. And then I've just got all my camis here and slips here. And I've just got a travel pillow here. This is from Lily Silk. I absolutely love it. I take it for traveling. And then I've just got my gym gear in there and some beach wear there. So that is that section. And then I've just got my Louis Vuitton Speedy, some more boxes. And that is the overview of the other section. And then this is where I just leave all my little <laughs> knickknacks, little things that I just want easy access to when I'm packing my mini bags. They're in there. That's my beloved Cartier candle. Absolutely love it. My favorite perfume at the moment, which is the Louis Vuitton Les Sables Roses. So yeah, this is one of my favorite perfumes of all times. I've gotten so many compliments on it. And then this is my shoe section. So I'm generally quite happy with my shoe collection and I've just literally got this corner to work through. This corner is not too bad because I don't have that many dresses that I don't really wear. I've gotten rid of a lot of them. So that is the last section remaining. We're getting there. All right, guys, like I just mentioned, we've just got the one section to go right there. But I do need to get to yoga now. It is 20 minutes to my appointment time. So I'm going to head over. When I come back, the sun might be down. So I don't know how that's going to go but I might just put some softbox lights on and finish that because I'm determined to complete this mission today. So I'll see you guys soon. So I'm back from yoga. I also got my lashes done, so I can't take a shower straight away. So I had some dinner and the sun's down, so I've got a couple of softboxes going. So if the lighting looks a bit different, that is why. And I probably look pretty horrible at the moment because I had a bit of a workout and haven't had a chance to wash up yet but I figured I'm probably gonna get sweaty again cleaning up the rest of the wardrobe so I'm gonna continue and sort out the last section which is the dress section so I pulled everything out of the long rack section here and I cleaned inside there as well it was so dusty in there it feels so nice to clean it all out and this is the situation of how much stuff I pulled out of there. So I'm gonna have to sort through these clothes and yeah, only put back the things that I've been wearing and enjoying. First thing is this dress. It is my version of little black dress. So I'm gonna have to keep this. This I inherited from my auntie, but I just haven't worn it in more than five years. So I'm gonna try and donate this to somebody because it is a very good quality coat. This is a long dress that I've worn to I think my graduation ball and it's still in the most amazing condition. It is from Kukai. I haven't worn it but I feel like I'm going to keep it for a little while longer. Oh, I forgot I had this dress. This is a really summery, elegant dress from Chic, one of my favorite brands to buy formal dresses and they're pretty affordable so I have to keep this. Oh, I'm going so well with the dresses aren't I? I'm just keeping everything. I'm sure I'll find things to get rid of. This is not really the con ring method is it really? Do you remember the salt and pepper cardigan trend? It never was really that flattering on my body, but I kept it because it just looked so cozy and it was so in. I think it is timeless, but I know that this fit doesn't really flatter my body. So I know that that is a sign for me to just get rid of it. So sad, but I'm going to let this one go. So yay, found the first thing to, or well, second thing actually, to get rid of from this pile. Free hanger. Oh, I absolutely love this tie-dye blazer. It is the perfect 
spring blazer and yeah tie-dye is kind of back still so I am going to run So we're finally done. It doesn't look all that different like I was saying, but it does look really different to me. So that is a top shelf and down the bottom there, very, very neat. And all my bags wrapped up in their little dust bags. I've got the space for all my bags now after doing a vlog sale and getting rid of some of the bags that I don't use. I mean, how many bags does one really need? And then this is my dress section. So I've got out of season winter clothes further in. So I've got the thick coats and um, all of that because we're in summer here in Australia. And then I've got the long sleeve dresses, which again are a little bit out of season. So I've got them closer to the inside. And then I've got some dressy formal dresses here, which I don't reach for all the time. As you guys know, I don't have a lot of formal events. And that's why I hold on to the dresses that I've got because I don't want to be spending money on formal dresses. I'm just going to keep the ones that I've got and rotate between them. And then I've got my summer dresses, my Zimmerman pieces that I absolutely love. These are some of my favorite Zimmerman dresses. How beautiful is that open back? That is one of my favorite pieces from about two years ago. And I've got my beloved Camilla dress in there as well. Absolutely love that one. A couple of Zimmerman play suits. Um, Alice McCall play suit. I love this My J dress. So pretty much everything in here I absolutely love. And then back here I've got my casual t-shirt dresses which I reach for all the time and that's why they're in the most easily accessible area. And just a couple of really thin blazers and cardigans because we're in summer again and sometimes I do take little thin jackets with me. So I'm really happy with the overall purging situation here. And this is how much stuff I've gotten rid of. So it doesn't look like a lot, but it is actually quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to sort through them and divide them into two piles. One to donate to charity and the other pile to donate to family and friends because most of these clothes are in really good condition still. They just don't suit me anymore. Um, yeah, and I am really happy with my work today. Yay, did it in the one day. I'm feeling really great after decluttering a little bit. I know it wasn't the most dramatic one. I'm still keeping a lot of the things, but because I'm a little bit of a hoarder, I am planning on doing small purges like this more frequently. That way I'm a little bit more sure about the items that I'm getting rid of. So I'm gonna do it that way. I have to do it in a way that really makes me feel comfortable. I don't just wanna all of a sudden become a minimalist or anything. I mean, I am never gonna be a minimalist, I don't think. I do like, you know, pretty things that that are in my closet and I am you know happy to keep a lot of them still so this year in 2020 I'm really going to try and stop shopping fast fashion because I can just really see how much waste we're creating and frankly I'm quite disturbed to see how many things that I've gotten rid of and the pattern that I see in my wardrobe with this decluttering is that the good quality items like my Zimmerman dresses, my Camilla dress, um, you know J brand jeans, those things I tend to keep and wear over and over again whereas most of the things that I've gotten rid of are from fast fashion brands so I'm gonna try and really be mindful when I'm shopping and that might save me some money too. So this year I think I think I'm gonna really shop less for clothes and I'm really happy that I've done this decluttering because now I can see exactly what I've got in my closet. Some things I actually forgot that I had them so I think this makes it so much easier for me to shop my closet. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe the video gave you some motivation to slow down on shopping a little bit as well, which I will definitely be doing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious minutes with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!